Hello, I'm Chris. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to wire an HEI to work with your MSD box. It can get a little tricky. I do have a video where I wired a Summit box, very, very similar wiring into my 70 Chevelle if you want to see exactly where I put the wires. Okay, they have wiring diagrams on the back, the heavier, thicker 10 or 12 gauge wires. He just had these wires straight to the battery. This smaller red goes to ignition on with the key. He just had it stuck in the bulkhead connector on the firewall. White wire, you're going to use this on a points ignition on the little wire coming out of the distributor, going to negative side of your coil. So we're not going to be using that. The only things we need to be paying attention to, this coming out of the box, orange and black. And then this one coming out of your box, purple and green. Okay, so these four wires are what we're going to be paying attention to. These are to the coil. These are to the magnet pickup on the distributor. So let's try to understand what that means. Black and orange to coil, green and violet to magnet pickup. Okay, so let's try to understand this so we actually know what we're doing opposed to just making it work. Can you see that right there? Can you see that C minus GRD B plus? Okay, that's the negative side of your coil with the minus. That's the positive side of your coil with the plus. Now GRD is ground. Tack and battery. Now let's look at a coil and you can see how these have two on each side. That's negative side of your coil, positive side of your coil. See how this is grounded? It has a ground. This coil has to be grounded. Negative side of the coil, that's where you always connect your tack. Does that make sense why the negative side of the coil and the tack and an ignition on positive side of your coil the most important thing to understand is that that middle is the ground grounding the coil out okay so the main thing you have to know about wiring an HEI to an MSD box is if you look at the instructions these are going to the magnet pickup so that's the magnet pickup right there with those two little wires coming off of it. So in other words, you're going to take the ignition control module out. You don't use it. Now I'm going to show you how I convert these over. Some of these have these little tiny fragile wires going to that magnet pickup. So you could use this one, but if you have another distributor, check it and see this one has bigger wires. So I'm going to use this one for the conversion. So I'm also going to show you a way that you can convert these over that works real neat so go ahead and cut this off right here we need this we're not throwing that away take the ignition control module out okay carefully disconnect these two okay we're going to go ahead and t take this out okay one thing to notice about this is the way that this is designed that it's grounded to the engine block but since we're going to be converting it, we're taking away the ground to the engine block. So just make a note of that. We're going to slide this out. Go ahead and take this thing off. We're going to cut right here. Okay. We don't need this, but save it. We do need this. The main idea is that we're going to use this piece. So I'm going to try to drill those wires out, well, two of them at least. I put it in a vise to hold it, but you see what I did there? Okay. So I'll just make sure our wires fit through it. Okay. That's good. See what we're doing here? We're using this piece. And now all we do is come over here and put two ends on those wires. Now one thing about the old plugs is they have a little one and a big one. Is we're going to have to grind down one of these a little bit. So all you got to do is just grind the edge off a little bit to make it fit. But just be careful how you do that. Okay, I just carefully ground it down on a bench grinder. Let's fit it. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and crimp those ends. Like I said, that looks like green to me, so I'm going to put the green one. All right, so we got these two.
I hope you understand that you can't leave these in there like that. You're going to have to tape those up real good, make better connections, use covered ones. I just did this to give you an idea for the video. I'm not putting this on my car. You might need to figure out a way to hold these down somehow. So I hope that makes sense that all we're doing is we're taking those two wires off that magnet pickup. Drill that out, run them out there. Okay, now for this thing, remember how we cut that plug off? Go ahead and plug this in. It only goes in there one way. So now we're going to take the orange and black to the coil. Kind of see what we did here. Take these wires loose. Remember negative side of our coil, positive side of our coil. So we're taking, make sure that you know which wires are which. Okay, so we got our coil wires ready. Let's go ahead and do the middle one. Remember the middle is the ground. This is very important. So whenever we made the modifications to the distributor, we took away the ground for the coil. So now we need to add a ground for the coil. Just gonna splice that in there. Note that we added a ground. So this has to be grounded somewhere. The engine block, the firewall, just somewhere in there. Ground it, don't forget. Okay, so now we have the negative side of the coil, positive side of the coil. So black is negative side of the coil. So we're gonna do the black one. Just make 100% sure that black is on the negative orange on the positive now all these two have to go back to is this green and purple now they do have a plug for these but I use it on my car so all you do is just and that's literally all you do and that is it so that's all you do just green and purple wire straight to that magnet pickup like that and the black and orange wire to your coil but what a lot of people forget is this ground just make sure you have that ground to a firewall or engine block okay so that's pretty much how you're going to wire your HEI up if you like the video please subscribe thanks for watching